With pancake day upon us, tomorrow is the time to make some massive pancakes. So today, we're gonna to teach you exactly how to do it. American pancakes, beautiful, fluffy beasts for you to pour butter on, pour maple syrup on, or stack with bananas and fresh cream. American pancakes, let's get it. Now making pancakes is basically making a properly combined batter. And there's a couple of things you need to do right in order for your pancake mix to come out fluffy and delicious. First things first, gonna get some butter onto melt. Eggs, straight into a bowl. Top tip, if any eggshell falls in with the eggs, the best way to get it out is with a piece of shell. So take your half, scoop in, cut through the egg, and collect the shell. In with the eggs, we pour the milk and we just whisk that together. If you wanna get this ready in preparation for tomorrow, you absolutely can. Now this recipe is all about properly mixing your ingredients. Get your eggs and your milk properly incorporated and then get a bigger bowl and we'll start to build the base. Flour in. Then we go salt, baking powder, and finally, a hit of sugar. Now like all your batters you've ever made, you have gotta incorporate your liquid slowly. That's to eradicate the chance of getting lumps. So a little bit goes in and then we work the moisture into the flour. A little bit more and we do the same again. This is just to thicken and stretch out the possibility of any lumps forming. So by the time you add more liquid, it's already smooth. Once we're at this stage where we're beautifully incorporated, our batter is silky smooth, everything to a good consistency, and we can add the butter. And we just trickle this in, like a mayonnaise almost, and emulsify this into the mix. He's done. At this point, you can flavor them. For me, I'm just gonna add a little bit of vanilla powder. One final mix and we're ready. I always like to pour my batter into some sort of pouring vessel, just to make it a little bit easier to get it into the pan. Flat bottom pan, we want an even distribution of heat and a thick bottom pan that is beautifully flat is gonna achieve that. So that goes onto the stove with a splash of oil. Once your oil's in the pan, then we can work on getting rid of it. I'm gonna use a blue levette, a J cloth, to mop up and distribute the oil very evenly and very lightly. So we've got our medium pan, we've got our beautifully incorporated batter. There's only one thing left to do, and that's cook them. Now, it's an age old tradition that the first pancake always doesn't turn out as good as you want it to. It's all about the control of temperature. Make sure you're not getting your pan too hot at the start and make sure you're looking after it. You're smelling whether the caramelization of the flour is even, whether it's burnt. You can pick up on all these sensory keys without having to flip the thing over. We're gonna go straight in with the batter. So we just pour that into the pan and you want a good amount, put that onto the heat and you want it medium high, like two thirds of However hot your stove gets, about two thirds of that, and you just cook it through. We've got some bubbles coming up here. It almost emulates the cooking of a crumpet, and that's all the baking powder, just giving its life, bursting off and creating the most beautiful fluffy pancakes. At this stage, we're a little bit golden brown around the edge. I can start to smell the caramelization of the pancake. We lift gently and flip over and that just unveils this stunning beautifully cooked golden brown pancake push it down slightly just so the raw batter on the other side of that pancake connects beautifully with the pan and then we continue to cook and at this stage if you're cooking for a crowd you are done you can do this one to two hours in advance keep your pancakes on the side and then just flash them through a hot oven at the end some people go maple some people go sugar and lemon I like to go butter and honey. But if you want to go peanut butter and jelly, if you want to go whipped cream, banana, if you want to go ice cream, it's completely up to you. These pancakes are a perfect base for you to take wherever you want. So I just like to layer them up on a plate, creating a proper stack, butter on top. And then this can be maple, this can be any syrup of your choice. You'll obviously need to put more on as you go through the layers, but a good amount of honey just drizzled over the top. So that's it, done, perfect pillowy, mahoosive pancakes, good enough for your table on pancake day. We've got the honey, we've got the butter, we've got the perfectly even distribution of batter and caramelization over the bottom side. They're iconic, they're big, they're great to slam in the middle of the table and share amongst friends. My proper pancakes. Avangyo!